Hey guys, this is Kelton and Bo, and uh, today we're going to be talking about Judges 9. So in Judges 9, Abimelech, um, the son of Gideon, also known as Jeroboam, um, he comes and he basically takes over. And uh, so he kills 70 of his brothers in order, well, I, almost 70, um, there's 70 total. Um, and he kills all of them in order to establish himself as king. Um, and so he does this um, by using a stone. And then later, um, as he's you know fighting this final battle, this woman drops a huge upper millstone on his head and kills him. Um, and so what's interesting is just to see the the unique justice of God in that, um, to see that there's there's this reciprocal justice, right? And so God promised that um, he would experience the same fate that he brought upon his brothers, and he did. Um, and so we can depend on our own works, right? Um, but we're going to reap the consequences of those, or we can depend on God's works and uh, see the blessings of that. And so um, are we going to depend on our own righteousness, our own actions, or are we going to depend on the righteousness of, of God, who is perfect and good and just? Um, and so we have that chance today um, to trust in Jesus, um, not just for our eternity, but also for every day of our life. Um, and so I pray that you would make that decision um, because he's where the joy is.